everybody. You're watching Reese Rides. On this ride, we were out at some of our somewhat local trails. Uh, some of the folks local to the Denver or uh, Colorado Springs area might recognize these trails. We did about 53 miles this day. I think we had seven total people with us, all spaced out, of course, trying not to get too close to each other. In that little intro there, I show a few cool clips from the ride that uh, you may not see in this video, but I'll just talk through some of those briefly. Um, this ride was super fun. Uh, of course, on the pipe, Joe and I have a little bit of a, a rivalry and, and try to be a little racy with each other occasionally, you know, showing a wheel and whatnot. And so one of those turns, there was a bypass and I, I almost put Joe into the bleachers as he says, but uh, it looked way more fast in real life. So I guess that's a testament to how fast I'm actually going by these GoPro videos. Also on this ride, we came upon several other people coming in the opposite direction, which is fine. You know, we just tell them how many people are behind us and uh, they tell us, um, but we also came across some people that were going the same direction as us. And we had kind of a confusing moment because we had a mixture of colors of bikes in our group of orange and blue. And uh, at one point I came across uh, what I thought was somebody else in our ride group, but it turned out it was somebody totally different. But I didn't realize that until I had already kind of made a little bit of a sketchy pass on him and then two other folks that I immediately recognize as not within our group, but it just kind of threw me that all of a sudden there's three people going the same direction as me when I thought I was coming up on one of my riders and ended up having to pass three folks just to catch up and uh, get with my group, so that was kind of funny. Later in the day, we also had a bit of uh, bike trouble. So On the Pipe Joe rides his uh, Sherco 300, I think it's a 2014, and uh, that thing doesn't have a kickstart, doesn't even have a hole in the case for a kickstart, um, so it's only electric start, and at one point in the day we started to smell like the sulfur smell, and it was just at a point where we stopped, and so we didn't really think anything of it, and then we kept going, and every time we stopped we kept smelling it until it got to the point where Joe and everybody stopped and the electric start wouldn't work anymore. So. We took his battery out and it was boiling over. So he ultimately ended up just removing the battery completely, um, leaving the leads in there disconnected from the battery. And we were able to roll start it and he was able to ride it just fine uh, without even a battery connected. So luckily we were only about 10 or 11 miles from the truck. So he kind of just cruised on all the way back to the truck at that point. But uh, that was a, an interesting learning experience that you're able to start and run that bike and all of its electronics minus the headlight because his headlight is currently not working but you're able to do all that without the battery so that was pretty cool anyway I'll be quiet now and you all can enjoy this video double track trails here so it's a little more high speed as compared to the single track trails and visibility is pretty good but occasionally we do get into the trees and when I encounter people coming in the opposite direction uh, I was trying to convey that we had several people with us and 
they might be going a little bit faster. So I was trying to like slow down when I pass these people to maybe engage them in conversation uh, to hopefully kind of get them to stop or at the very least slow way down for the guys coming up behind us because they may just come together at a point in the trail where there isn't any visibility and, and nobody wants any collision. So um, just a, a good lesson for me that in a large group like that, it's good to try and try and get, if you come across a large group, it's, it's good to stop to wait for that whole group to pass just to make sure you don't come up on them at a, in an inopportune moment. <laughs>